Now phase 2 of melee 3.0 in Warframe has made some crazy melee combos and of course synergies show up over the last week. Slow, powerful, heavy attack builds that bleed enemies with one shot, one bang. Builds focused completely on crit, forget about your elemental combos and of course the fang prime is now a thing. But it's also made us revisit certain weapons that at one point in time were some of the best melee weapons in Warframe. Weapons like the Legion, the old king of pole arms. Welcome on in you beautiful feckers, how you all do? Now the biggest downside to the Legion was its range. Its reach absolutely sucked, big time. Especially when you compared it to the likes of the Autos Prime or eventually the Plague Cripat pole arms. Its damage to the Legion was always insane, but the need to, I guess, swing your weapon around and slap more enemies across the face with one shot was a utility that a lot of us looked for with our melee weapons. Phase 2 of Melee 3.0 has of course changed all of that. Range on melee weapons has been normalised across the board and the Legion is now on a level playing field with other pole arms, making it, for me anyway, the perfect weapon of choice back on top of that throne, an instrument according to the Codex of Unrelenting Harm. Now what's so great about the Legion? Now the Legion has its own innate toxin and attack speed buffs. It can hit 100% stasis chance with ease, which is perfect, exactly what you want, because both of those innate buffs activate when you apply a status effect to an enemy. The fact that one of those buffs is a toxin buff also allows you to combine that toxin buff with the last elemental mod in your build. So I've modded, for example, Blast and Electric, but the Electric will combine with that toxin buff to form Corrosive. So my build has got Blast and Corrosive. The Legion is also primarily a slash based weapon. It deals a lot of bleed effects. Another tick on that I need list. But the fact is, it is a status weapon, and everyone right now in Warframe is jumping on that crit train or the heavy attack builds, but what about status melee builds? What about condition overload? Is it still a viable setup? Did that mod get a nerf? Yes, the way it multiplied your damage has changed from what it was before update 26, and because of this, it has led a lot of players to swap out primed pressure point and just use condition overload because both mods interact in a very similar way with your builds. For the most part, this, from what I understand, is a bad idea. Brozyme has a video on condition overload and all of its math, and he will talk you through it, but with it being a bad idea for most builds, there are a few exceptions to that rule. Weapons that perform better now with primed pressure point dropped out for condition overload. High status chance weapons that attack really, really fast and apply multiple status effects really quickly. So the Legion is one of those perfect exceptions to that rule, it just, it fits. Two status effects applied on an enemy will have you dealing more damage than if you had primed pressure point equipped, and this thing applies more than two status effects with its first hit, because it has got 100% status chance. Especially when modded for Blast, which counts as two status effects as well, corrosive from the toxin buff and of course your electric mod, and the IPS damage that it deals, the impact puncture and slash. And like I said, those bleed effects are really, really nice. And when you add into the hat any kind of status effect from a Sentinel or from a Warframe ability, or if you just run with Saren and the Legion, it is easily one of the strongest melee weapons in the game right now. So this is my current mod setup for my Legion. Now I know the build looks a little bit weird with no combo mods or no pressure point equipped on them, but it just, it works. Naramon as your focus school for its power spike passive, which will decay your combo meter by five instead of it completely ending. This means that you can drop out that drifting contact or body count combo mod and put in a crit damage one. And then when you drop out pressure point, it'll let you pop in blood rush. And if you choose to also take a crit stat stick build on your Sentinel's Deconstructor Prime using gladiator mods, then this will mean your Legion will be dealing orange crits at the 12 times combo and will be attacking insanely fast due to the Berserker mod and the passive attack speed buff as well. So you will hit that 12 times combo really, really quickly with this weapon. And with the normalization of the range of pole arms, the Legion for me, like I said, is back on top of that throne, the king of pole arms once again. Now the Plague Cripat is still amazing, but the build on this is just so different, it's so unique, and it's really enjoyable to run with. Melee right now, has so many bloody options for all of you. Hammers, daggers, pole arms, nakanas, tonfas, 
I kind of wish our primary and secondary weapons in Warframe had this kind of diversity, I guess without the mad power creep, because some of these melee builds are absolutely bonkers. But let me know what you think of the Legion now after phase two. Try out this setup. Let me know what you think of it. Do me a huge favor, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video or don't if you didn't. Subscribe for more Warframe and as always, thanks very much for watching.